Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another Daily Vibes because that other one was all about money. So this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to lay out all the cards. I'm going to put all the cards on the table. Now keep in mind, everything that comes out of my mouth is part of the reading. So yeah, I'm just going to lay all the cards out on the table and we are going to have a conversation. Okay, so what do I see? And on the bottom of the deck is the death reversed. Is death reversed? Now, when we get a card, and that's the overall energy, the overall energy of this reading is death reversed. Now, a card in reverse to me is extremes. Okay, it's extremes, or it's an absence of, or. It's a disaster, put it that way. It's it's worse. It's not always, not always. Depends on the card. But in this case, with the death card reversed, there's an incident or an accident or a disaster. Okay? He just started reading out like that, but y'all know who I am by now. Somebody's been held back by fear. They've been held back by fear and the holy gone is getting old. It's like they're ready for it to end. There's been a delay. There's been a delay in this transformation. There's been a delay in this ending. And now it's going to end in disaster because somebody has been fighting the ending. Okay? Isn't that just a familiar story? That is the overall energy. Something is going to end. Um, it could be drastic. It could be an accident. Okay? It could be, you know, it is what it is. Okay? This is um, definitely, there's going to be an ending. And it could end in a way that... Um, well, could be extreme. This could also be a near death experience. Okay? So it's a near death experience. Okay? There could be an accident that ends in a near death experience that causes a transformation. It causes somebody to change. Okay? Either way, this is about an ending. Okay? The very first card out is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is irresponsible, unfaithful, jealous, um, unhealthy. We have an individual that is not qualified, that is, could be a sponger, somebody that doesn't have any money, no long-term plan. Uh, next card out is the Ten of Swords. That is a, That Ten of Swords is the death of a situation. So we have an individual who... Starts out with an individual because this is a person. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that doesn't follow through with actions, that doesn't follow through with the plans, that doesn't have anything to offer, that is lazy, um, doesn't really take responsibility. Now, this person that doesn't take responsibility is going to be experiencing the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is definitely an ending. Okay, has reached the end. Okay. Reach the end of the 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 road, okay? This is the end of the road. Ready. Feels like we have somebody here that is ready. They may not have any energy left. It could be a lack of energy. But the Ten of Swords is uh, the death of a situation, 
okay it's a breakdown it could be a mental or a physical collapse or both um, there's no more desire to fight uh, there's the, it is too much it's too much it really is it's, it's too much um, this is a goodbye okay this this is a goodbye over here we have the eight of cups Okay, so there is a goodbye here. Somebody is definitely saying goodbye. But we also have the lovers. So the lovers is uh, a union, a commitment, falling in love, coming together with somebody that you are soulfully connected to next to the justice card. Okay, so there is a balanced union that is coming into play here after somebody lets go of the past because the three of swords is reversed upright. We have somebody here that was focusing on the pain, focusing on some hurt, uh, doing a lot of crying, doing a lot of moping, uh, suffering. It's in reverse. So this is, is starting to going through a recovery letting go of the past hurts, uh, ready to move on. Somebody has been, they've already been through the mental turmoil. They've reached the end of stagnation by the, I mean, there's been some stagnation here. This is the end of it. They've, they've uh, probably moped and laid around and sulked and, you know, let themselves go with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Let themselves go. That's somebody who's lazy and unhealthy because of something that broke their heart. Somebody let themselves go. Um, but we're going to have a balance here. We're going to have a rebalance or something with this Justice card. This is about balance. It's about being honest with them, yourself. Uh, something turning out as it should. And it's realizing that everything turned out as it should. Now somebody may have uh, encountered some legal issues. And now they're starting to realize or they're starting to accept, okay, they were they were crying over it. And it doesn't have to be legal issues. Could have been a breakup, something like that, something about a union, whatever. There's been some heartache. There's been some suffering. But this is coming out of it. It is coming out of it. We have a new beginning here with the Fool card, a new beginning in love, okay? A new partnership, okay? This is this is exciting. This is this is a fresh start. Um this is surrender. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands reversed is surrender. This is walking away from an emotionally disappointing decision. Uh, this is the decision. The decision to walk away from an emotionally disappointing situation. To give up the fight. To start fresh with a new partner. So somebody is making the decision. And they're going to be coming together with a perfect match. Because they have decided. This is final. It's finally over. There's a new connection here. New connection. So it's the, the suffering and the pain pain that happened in the past is finally over. There is a new connection here. Okay. There is, there is, there is. Somebody is, is headed away from the disappointment. They're headed away from the heartache. They're, they're, they're giving up. They're giving up the battle. They're letting go. Okay. They're surrendering to the new beginning. Okay. They're releasing. This is freedom, freedom from uh, holding on. They've been the holding on is getting old. They're letting it go. They're letting it die so that they can live again. So somebody is it's, it's like they're letting they're really 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 letting go. And the reason they're one of the reasons that they're letting go is because there's many options with the 7 of cups here. It's like they're shopping. They've been what they maybe they've been window shopping, right? Looks like there's window shopping here. Somebody's been window shopping. They've been looking around. They've been liking what they see and they hmm that looks good. Hmm yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know, so I feel like um, a decision is being made. This is a choice. This is a choice. And this is a choice. So a choice is being made to stop focusing on the past and let it go and let it die. This is let die. It is. This is the queen of pentacles reverse. This is not putting in effort, giving up. Somebody is giving up. Uh, they are. It's like I'm not putting in any effort. Uh, this one's the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who is choosing to be. Now somebody may be choosing to be independent. 
there could be some there could be some possessiveness here there could be some obsessiveness here somebody was obsessed perhaps they had they were insecure and unstable and uh stubborn you know there's stubbornness here they they had they, they were holding on because of stubbornness but this is a new perspective the queen of the queen of swords comes up with a new perspective so I do feel as though we have an individual that has gained some sort of clarity, okay? Multiple options, right? Both. There's multiple options here. We have we have an individual who has gained some sort of clarity through I feel like it's time. I feel like I do. I feel because like, you see, this person is old. Took a long time to get here. It did. It took a long time. I feel like time has healed. Okay, this is healing. Time has healed. Okay, a person, and now there's this is a justice. Okay, justice being served, getting what you deserve, and the lovers card is like uh, Cupid or an angel bringing two people together. Okay, that's justice. This is a new beginning. So we do have a new beginning here that comes all of a sudden because the, the fool is spur of the moment. And this is uh, leaving everything behind and stepping into a new reality with somebody that is perfect. Okay, this is absolutely a perfect match. We have Gemini, we have Libra, we have Aries. Uh, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, we have the end of suffering. Okay, this is the these are mirroring each other. This is the end of suffering. This is final. A final decision is being made to end this suffering. Okay, the decision is being made. Um, justice is a card of karma. It's a card of consequences. We have consequences over here. So there is some sort of consequences for your choices. Somebody maybe may have suffered a loss due to karma. Okay, because this is, you know, a karmic consequence from the past. Maybe there was uh, uh, jealousy, possessiveness, materialism here. Somebody that didn't follow through. They didn't have any long-term goals. They, they lied. They were unfaithful. Okay, that there's consequences for that. Um, I do feel as though there's some sort of karma here that caused a loss. It caused this painful separation. But I feel like that karmic debt is paid because there's a new opportunity here for, uh, this is love, okay? This is a healing love, okay? It's a kindred spirit, soulmate connection uh, that comes out of nowhere because this is the fool. It's like all of a sudden, it's very exciting, okay? It is. And you're going to need to have faith and take a risk. I feel like this is risky. I feel like it's a... Um, it's like you're you're not even looking for it. You're not even looking for it, and you step right into it. You step right into this new uh, contract. Okay, these are both cards of contracts. They are, and this is so. There's a new contract here. There is. Okay, the justice card and the lovers card. Those are both contracts, and the fool. That's a new contract. So there is a new contract here. Um, it is definitely exciting, but it is risky, and I think it's a little scary, and I think that you're going to need to try to let your guard down and give it a chance, okay? Uh, this Eight of Cups is saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation and headed towards uh, letting your guard down. The Seven of Wands is letting your guard down, you know, um opening up, you know, letting somebody in. I'm going to have to get another card for that one. I do feel as though uh, we do have the end of suffering. This is the end of su mirroring each other. Now this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now we could be, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is an individual that is very stubborn, lazy, uh, Possessive, jealous, uh, doesn't want responsibility, uh, maybe unhealthy, cheap, doesn't give, doesn't doesn't put in much effort, obsessed, 
could be somebody that is obsessed with with uh, money or wastes money. There is a wasteful individual, or, or just does, isn't practical, isn't realistic. There is there is somebody here with the Knight of Pentacles right here. This is this is an irresponsible, unfaithful, lazy, uh, not qualified, boring sponger. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay, this is somebody who doesn't have any long-term goals or long-term staying power. They, they're they jealous and they're possessive, but they don't have anything of value to give. Okay? And I think that the, the, the or to offer, they just, something like that. I mean, um, but that Ten of Swords is the end. It's giving up. It is. Somebody is giving up. They're giving up. And they're giving up because they got some sort of clarity. They got some sort of clarity. It's like all of a sudden, and it is definitely a sudden, and I think all of a sudden they know there's something better. They've seen something better. They've been window shopping. You know, maybe they've been shopping on Facebook or whatever. They've been looking. Okay, put it that way. Somebody's been looking. Okay, they've been looking. They've been looking for love elsewhere. Okay, and I think they find something that they like. Okay, and I feel as though there is going to be a meetup between two people. And I don't, and I think it's an orchestrated meetup. As a matter of fact, I do. Um, we have somebody here that is very, very, very smart. Now, this, this, this is an, a very in intelligent individual who is very calculating okay so somebody may be uh, coming up with a plan or something like that now I'm not sure if this is the king or the queen I think this is the because these are all women in this deck um, for the kings and the queens This is definitely somebody in authority. There's going to be a conversation. Somebody is about to have a conversation with somebody. And, that, you know, I feel like... I gotta, I gotta look closer. An explanation is coming. This is an explanation. It is. There's an explanation there. Somebody is going to be giving an explanation. There could be some public speaking here too. We could be dealing with a public speaker that is uh, very respected. This person is very respected. This is somebody who uses their head, acts with integrity. But this this is this is the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is unstable, insecure. This is seeing clearly. Somebody may be seeing clearly that somebody is unstable, insecure. Could be a judge, could be somebody in protective services, could be somebody that works with children. That is seeing that somebody is unstable and insecure. Somebody could be putting a stop to something. I know I'm changing the story, but that's what's coming out of my mouth. Now, this is justice. And now, this could be somebody that is in law enforcement, and this could be who. So, there could be somebody that has to do with law enforcement that is entering the scene. But we do, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's a choice between two paths, two people. There's going to be a new beginning here where somebody leaves and they don't take anything with them. And they unite with an individual that they are meant to be with. Oh, it may have something to do with a child. I just happen to know the child. This may have to do with child protection. I never saw that child hiding behind him before. This may have something to do with a child being protected, which is interesting. Somebody may be protecting a child. Interesting. 
Anyway, this is being left, the past being left behind, something being left behind, which is interesting. We have a selfish individual here that, uh, I may have not told the truth. This is betrayal. Ten of Swords is betrayal. This is a breakdown. It's a collapse. It's the death of a situation. This is being defeated. And this is too. Somebody is about to be defeated. And I think it has something to do with karma. And this is, it's over. It's over. And we still have the death on the bottom. It's over. Something, the suffering is over. The pain and suffering is over. It's over. It's over. There's a new, there are two people coming together. And I don't know, it doesn't have to be lovers per se. It is two, and it, it definitely could be. But this is about bringing balance and bringing justice and bringing truth. The truth coming out. The truth coming out. The truth is coming out. And it's, this person is unhealthy, may have food issues, you know, addictions with food or, you know, um, a self-image problem, obsessed with their body. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is obsessed with their body and they're insecure and they're unstable and they're, this could be a collapse, this is an illness. So if there's somebody that is not feeding themselves or not taking care of themselves, it could be seen and, you know, I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but it doesn't look good. There's, there's uh, food issues here with this Knight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody could be out shopping, whatnot. They could collapse. Just saying. There's something to do with children here, too. There definitely is. We have children here and we have a child here. So something to do with children. Anyhow, so this is what? What was what, what this for around the uh, 30th? Yeah. There is uh, some sort of seeing straight through the situation. Somebody's going to see straight through it with the justice card. Somebody was getting away with uh, not, they were getting, because there's a mask on here. Somebody was getting away with something, but they're not going to get away with it anymore because karma or whoever is viewing is going to see straight through the situation. They are. They are. And they're going to take somebody away from an uh, emotionally dissatisfying situation that is not healthy. The very first card out is the Knight of Pentacles reverse, and that is very unhealthy. This is somebody that is a gym fanatic, or they're very focused on their body. Or they're not focused on their body. There's un Whatever, it could go either way. Extremely unhealthy, put it that way. Lazy. Doesn't put any effort to get anything done to change. Anyway, if this is the King of Swords, this is somebody in authority that is very wise. And, and this could even be somebody that works with children that sees. Okay, this could be because there's child, this person is like a teacher and it, or somebody that works with children that sees that somebody is unhealthy. Somebody could be seeing that somebody is unhealthy. Which is interesting. Anyway, we do have a new beginning. This is starting from scratch. Leaving the past behind. And going with somebody that is perfect. That's what I see. Good luck.